dropped it down at one of their best maps. Be the first one to drop them as well. A perfect record across the entire year for Optic. That is Old Spawns and Hills and the New. I know Optic, they've already beat them on it once. It was P1, they set themselves apart. The opening break always sets the tone. We descend into the hard point. We fly forward. The subline is in all the usual spots. The trades are going to come to a close in a moment. We're going to see who finds that opening time. But it's not just that time we're fighting for. It's also that map pressure. It's keeping your opponents locked in, keeping them far away from the hard point. Oh, this is already beautiful work by the New York subliners. At least to strip away a good chunk of time off the rip. And you can see the containment they have over towards P2. Sib right now worried about long, but Optic continued to collect just a little bit of time. The Chati, well, they jump on him. No trophies to keep that man alive and already and infinitely. Better P1 hill right now for the subliners. Maintain the spawns, and I just got to make sure you watch the back. Kenny, he's approaching it. Skies, though, that is the L trigger. Irons oh. up, but player down. Kenny getting it done. Players, trophies, you name it. They're all dropping to Kenny right now. Spawns there for the boys of the subliners the other side of the map. Good work out, kids. Dash you with the trades. Whoa, Hydra finds it. Shotsy there to keep the time going. And that is literally just Kenny, the difference maker for the team. You win the one gunfight, you flip the spawns, and you break through on P2. So that strong start subliners had, well, that is completely washed away. Gear up again and try to break this time. Here comes the break. Shotsy up in the hill. Time ticket. Good tags, not enough for the kill. 35 seconds still on the point and through the back door. Dashi holding him down. Gets himself two. Heavy fire. Subliners get the break. Yes, yeah, it well timed flank. Both these teams getting oh. after it. Pred from up top, but maybe falls down for the movement. Got to get rid of that nade and we'll get back in the time. Optic clean house to get the final 20 seconds to scrap. Ah. And happy for the lead as you at least attempt to rotate over to new. New York subliners keeping him pretty far away. Hydra going to be the player that wraps back to block those spawns. Everyone else, they just want to be a nuisance. You want to stop Optic in their tracks. Right inside of the minimap. Oh, nice nades. Again, those coordinated nades from Optic. We see them in every series so far. Brilliant at taking care of those players. Kenny looks like he was stuck there for a moment. Now over to the stock. He's trying to creep his way through that back line. Bad news for him. Skies and Kismet. Guns at the ready. They know something's coming here. And I think the stun or the nade may have given it up as well. So a two-pronged attack right now for Optic. And Kenny applying that pressure. So number six has to back down and deal with them. Skies not collecting the time because Kenny is trying to hunt you. He gets the help and you can see the feed. Hydra for two. Sid for the extra. And Pred, the last man standing from Optic. And he's going to get the cruise. He doesn't get you out of time, but utility long-term. Pred awoken in the last Whoa. series, doing what he can. And Dashi able to strike as well. All of this, though, just to keep the subliners at bay. That is still a strong amount of time that New York is able to get. About close to tying this game up as we rotate towards new. You can see Optic very well ahead of the rotation. Players pushed out. They got all their cuts. No one is slipping this net. Yeah, subliners are not going to be able to get to that new hard point without a whole heap of trouble. And Skies is doing the best he can to just navigate. Ah, but there it is. Pred, the first on the board on this hard point. Time ticking away. We're looking at that lead change. Kenny cut down. Immediate trades though once again. Pred continuing the absolute masterclass so far. 14 and 6. Subline has yet to get close. Got it. Shotsy being so annoying too. Slowing these players down and keeping them at bay. Great damage as well. Not a single subliner can actually make the push. 30 seconds have gone by. The hill completely uncontested. Finally, Hydra in skies able to get through. But the gunfight's on the time. Dashi keeping them at bay. Big Bruce winning the gunfights from in the time. Okay, it's finally cuts him down. Kenny there unable to save him. Spawns in the back now for the subliners. No, they've split. Shotsy in time. Is he going to be able to identify this final 10? The scrap going the way of Optic Texas may be a blessing. Split spawns, though. Over towards the new hardpoint. Pred secured it once again. Kill number 15. Yeah, now you got to read the flank, though. Skies is going to be taking a long route to see if he can break this down. Optic haven't jumped in the hill just yet because they're waiting for the kills. Skies, though, working with oh! Kismet. Look at the teamwork and coordination. Everybody winning their fights for subliners. The perfect start to the new hill. Oh, yeah. Here comes the cruise. You're going to bounce back straight away from that four down. Hopefully flush these players out. Pred's going to be calling out every player's location. Catches one. Dashi now on the approach. Finds Kismet. Skies bounces back. 
Big tags, but not enough to slow down the approach. That's Optic's hard point. That dolphin dive is so extra. Just a little bit of timing change that you have for moments like that just to be the bait and Optic strike right back. Great use out of the cruise to make it annoying and Kenny flying in top P2, cutting you off. Right now, left side spawns coming through for New York, at least mostly. They've pushed out and flipped him over to the right. So a 2-2 split, Optic trying to read this situation and set themselves up again on P1. Back over to P1, first go around, very strong work out of Optic Texas. The lead is certainly theirs. Opening time going to be going the way of the subliners should they decide to dip a toe back. Again, Pred continuing to be an absolute menace, lying in wait. 18 and 9. Once the time is right, he'll hit that hard point, stop the clock. Yeah, eventually, if nobody childs, you're going to know where to look. That's a great stun, but Pred, the damage is out. Kismet tucking himself away, and you got to reposition. Optic right now, they have the spawn swords new, but he can't give away too much time. And Pred, the distraction for Shotzi to get in the mix. And now from up top, so annoying, letting his teammates get the kills. Kenny for two, Pred, he's all but a distraction. Optic at the time, and still ahead over towards new. But now over towards new again, Sid v. Kenny. Kenny winning the life battle, but not the teammate battle. Shotzi trying to get his way forward now as well. You've got a lot of angles to take care of on the approach. Whoa, Sid finds another. Trades again. Subliners, though, this time round, a lot stronger on that way to the new hardpoint. And I took my eyes off the minimap for a moment. And in the meantime, New York Subliners have at least flipped it and gone over towards B2. They're down by about 70 points. But the opportunity now to get back in the game. Sid winning gunfights from range. And that is from time, keeping these players at bay. Kenny, well, he's trying to trial skies in the background. Oh, wins it as well, but they're having to work these gunfights. Last one standing, Sid, well, from the heavens above. Kenny there to take him down. Kenny cleaning house once again. Well, a solid lead now developing even further. A 70-something point game for Optic Texas. Let's go for a quick listen in. I'm playing your role, Ken. Yeah, not to push me on. They, they, I'm your own. Back on the side. Go for it, B5. Go for it, B5. Go for it, B5. One went long. One went long. Yes, last guy, last guy, last guy. Yeah, he went long. Pop goes. He's a part of P1. P1, part of P1. Get time, get time, get time. I got it, I got it, I got it. Pop goes, part of server. 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 Pop goes,
Pressure now on still. Find a corner. Enjoy the snow. As there's the kills again. Slide! A second for Pred. Look at the number three. Oh, nearly with the butt of his gun. But Kismet tries to keep the play alive. You have to get going. This could be game. This is just a victory lap now from Optic. The kills are flowing their direction. They are making it look easy. What a way to bounce back and set the tone. Optic Texas, perfect on sub base. Four more points just to get it done. Here comes the next few. Final five. Optic are in position for the old hard point, but they are for the new. Uh -huh. Subliners finally able to tighten their grip around the map for now, but good God, is it too late? It's first to 250, and this is certainly going to help. Kenny calling in the streaks. Easy pickings, not a lot of cover. Bye bye, Skies. Able to get on the hard point. Now that might be it. Dashy with the opener. Looking to find their way in, but it's still the subliners. They are holding on to the snow. The hands will be getting frostbite soon. And Optic are still unable to get a toe in. It has been a 100-point deficit for the longest of time. The subliners, though, they're falling. And on P1, you just get to flood. Shotzi, the safety net just in case. Pred, though, from two. You get to strike one more play right now. It's oh Adrian. <laughs> hey, he wins the gunfight. He's keeping things mixy. But Optic, there you go, 249, a contest for a moment, but the game Yay! is done. Delaying the inevitable, not an easy thing to do. Get time on B1 without a perfect setup, but Optic Texas open the series strong. The subliners sadly come out a little colder again, a benefit of being in that winner's bracket final matchup. You go down to phase, you're still hot and ready to go. You prove it right then and there against New York. And how do you think Fred is going to respond after holding the L in the last series? Well, bounce back, leading the lobby in every single category. 27 non-traded, more than every other player had total kills. His damage out of control. And even in the comms, you hear what he was saying about his former teammate in Civ. He's giving the gas to his teammates. He's let them know the trendsetter and home getter there from Optic Texas. That is a comfortable run on sub base. They're Early advantage now in the series. 36 and 20 Pred currently worth his weight in gold. With the 5.5k damage as well. Beautiful stuff. That's going to be that sub base. Over and out. Subline is not able to get too much going there. It was a little too sort of slow out of the gate. An issue that the team has had so far here, especially at Major 2. And, and again, from d -Real, from their coach, saying if they come out hot, all good. It does take the subliners a moment to get that locomotive going. But once they do, a very, very formidable team either way. Highlights now on your screen. And for those wondering at home, Dashy, 2 minutes and 20 in the hill. Yeah, no, not too bad, the uh, the Super Soaker indeed. But it is just a map where I think the Subliners had maybe one strong P3 hold. But when you win P3, you lose the rotation over towards Sub. And Optic just able to do all the little things right. I think Kenny, especially just on P2, it was the opening break. He wins one gunfight against Skies, blocks those back spawns, gets him for a team, and you break that setup down. And that really does just set you up long term. Talk about one mistake being made and you're going to get punished. Well, Ken picks you apart. They get that momentum and never look back. A flawless performance there from Optic Texas. And now this is where things, to me, get extremely interesting. It is Karachi that New York chose to play for Search and Destroy in map number two. But it is a map that Optic have been feasting on all year long. They have beaten the very best. They have an argument very clearly to be the best Karachi S&D team in the game. That's what New York wanted to go into. So this is a big opportunity. You go 2-0 in the series, but a dominant performance like that. The guns right now from Optic, they are feeling quite hot. Yeah, I would imagine we've got something in store from the subliners when it comes going back to Karachi. We've already seen, again, wall bangs. We've seen different angles. We're seeing new looks. But are you going to test that out? Are you going to pull these tricks out against an Optic team that looks so formidable? Those one tricks, they maybe get you a round. They maybe give you two rounds of, you know, of maybe second guessing a game plan. But when it comes to teams like this, man, I mean, you're going to have to take way more than that. This Karachi is going to be a very interesting one indeed. After Karachi, we take a triple dose of Invasion. We'll be playing Control, Hardpoint, and Search and Destroy on that one if we have to go the distance to find out who makes it to that Grand Finals. But for now, Karachi, Search and Destroy. And we talk about the uh, the tricks in the trades. Well, it's the trades that might be necessary on the first blood front from Optic when they played New York on this map last time. Optic won nine out of the 11. Jeez. That being said, you win that many first bloods, and it is still a nail-biter game. Subliner certainly had fight, but it was Shotzi 4-0 on the first 
first blood front. He is a magician on Karachi. I look at it like a Call of Duty player. Shotzi looks at it like a playground. He dances <laughs> around the map. He finds all of the new unique routes. He messes with your timings and obviously a very difficult player to contain. That is going to be the goal right now from Subliners. You have to prepare, literally design your setups just around what Shotzi is going to do on the first blood front. And maybe that design is just let him do his thing and play on the opposite sections of the map. But especially around top and bottom red, Shotzi going to be trying to do wondrous things. And I know certainly Optic were paying attention earlier. Maybe a couple cheeky wall bang spots they're going to have to be privy to. <laughs> but I'm sure they will be making that adjustment. Well, no pads out, folks. Class is in session. Map number two. Optic Texas taking on the New York Subliners. We're going to Karachi for search and destroy. And there you go. It's another nade. And that is exactly where Envoy died in round one when Subliners played Toronto earlier. You take down Shotzi, already feeling much more comfortable. And it was virtually the exact same strat. The difference now, though, Pred, he has found himself in the privy position to try to break this down. The timing is on point, and he has struck. As soon as he knows the bomb's not got a player on it, he checks all the usual places, finds one out. And Preds moving loud, not running covert. Making just enough noise. Big win there from Hydra. The right gun at the right time. And now from Hydra, he's behind enemy lines. Kenny, though, not a gun that he can really chase with. Has to be a bit more cautious. He's directly above him, and Hydra's headset has been out of control <laughs> on the Karachi S&Ds. He knows Ken is up top, and that's why his team isn't yet planning the bomb. Trying to isolate this one player, and Hydra hasn't gotten it just yet. Well, he was there. He had him lined up, and Kenny, oh dear. 20 seconds to go in the round in this 2v2. Optic Texas don't have to move, but there's the bomb plant. Hydra, oh dear, that's going to sting, and there we go. Kismet cleaned up for the final kill. A swift and relatively safe retake, and I do believe Pred shot a body. Well, I mean, hey, Pred can do whatever he wants after the map one he just had also absolutely makes the play. That is eight New York subliners get the first blood and lose the rounds. Players right there from Optagon Point, Pred sets them up and then the instincts from Kenny. There is no chasing Hydra. You can see he heard you coming from a mile away, but Kenny just maintains the high ground. That is Kylo Ken understands the importance of elevation. It's a family thing. It's a big family thing. You wouldn't understand unless you've seen all the Star Wars films. Three to nothing there for Pred. Lovely first round from him. Dodging all the days this time round. No trophy in play for it, but the boys of Optic Texas have learned their lesson. Shots he's going to make his way out towards the street side. There are plenty of members of the subliners in position, but whether or not they see him is the other thing. Trying to clear out mid. Dancing the dance he does. Shots he's now in his horribly unfortunate new home. And he's up here with an MCW as well. And this is a spot where, like, I would never check it. If you get up here for Shotzi, this might just be a guaranteed kill. His team gets the bomb down. It is a 4v4 retake. And Brad found himself in an interesting position as well. Shotzi going to hear all of this. He knows players are in green. Complete coverage in the middle of the map. Brad cut down through the middle of the street. But there's a halo gunfire. Keeping these boys at bay for as long as possible. Shotzi springs alive for the final kill of the round. Goes his way. Back-to-back -back rounds, Optic. That is absolutely easy. Shotzi gets in position. His teammates take their time, and as soon as you get the bomb plant, it's just about the patience waiting to make his move. Notice how he doesn't jump as soon as the door gets open. He waits for the engagements to roll through. Doesn't give the subliners any time to calculate, no time to think. And that is back-to-back -back very impressive rounds coming out from Optic. Kenny is well on a three spree. Got to keep that in the back of your mind long term, but New York Subliners, they wanted this. They wanted Optagon Karachi. <laughs> we haven't seen enough just yet. Those nades from downtown, though, they were looking for the first blood. So close and yet oh. so far, but now you know Shotzi. He's in his home. You think he's top red, already repositioned. There's the reposition. There's the fight, but there's a lot of members of Subliners here. Shotzi can't get any more. Info passed over, though. Lots of red dots on his mini-map. Passes it to Kenny. Kenny finds one. Can't get another. Sky is good work. Dashy there for the trade immediately. And now it's a 2v1. That is trust in the comms. He heard the one shot call out and flew in with a pistol. Now Hydra. And between these two players, great trigger discipline. But question is, how quick can he be to trade out Dashy? Oh, no! Oh.
Big Bruce Boy's fist to the back alley. What reaction time. Wham! Never go against Batman in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He is going to take you down. Three rounds now in a row from Optic. Exquisite performance so far. You saw the idea from the subliners, by the way. They were catching Kenny with the nades, but not quite perfectly coordinated. It was only there for the damage. And Optic are playing with all the confidence in the world. They are running it down. They are challenging. And for good reason, Subliners right now struggling so far on Karachi. Okay, dodging nades, such lovely routes taken to avoid the usual spots. Shots, you got some damage in, Sid. EOD might not save you here, mate. Oh, it just about does. Hydra there for the immediate first blood, so good work. An advantage now had. Can you turn it into a round win? Well, here's a day one corner. Optic, something you need to check. Well, Bred's actually clearing the routes toward mid. Hello? And that's just above Kismet. He's calling this out to his teammates, but he, Kismet's giving information on the A side of the map. And two players from Optic are stacked up towards mid and green, but the difference isn't going to be enough. Kenny does get caught. Dash might find a pig, but it's still a man advantage. And now last man standing doesn't last for long. Subliners off the back of the first blood on point. And it was Shotzi just a little bit too aggressive. That answers the question. My Shotzi has the MCW. He's looking to catch Sib on that cross out to bridge. He was slightly off, just a little too slow. That was enough for Hydra to go and get that kill. Subliners executed after the fact with the man advantage. No mistakes being made. Starting to build a spree here. It all starts with one. Plenty of comebacks been had in this tournament and again for a team like the Subliners, albeit for one change, your current reigning world champs. What have they got in the playbook? 2-2, two, two, split. Not talking about dancing attire. Hydra's in. Catches Shotzi. That's an, out, that's an outstanding first blood. Aggressive Chow. Just going straight down mid, run it down. And well, with the man advantage, you have so much time just to let Optic make a mistake. Everybody pumping the brakes in New York subliners, spreading the map, waiting for the information to come to them. It's full pockets for Kiz. There's the smoke. And this is, a, it's a complete bay, by the way. He's making noise at B just to drag two optic arrows over towards this site. So Kismet just playing with Optic Texas. Meanwhile, Kenny, lone defender, dealing with three. He's at the bus stop waiting for the play. There it is. Bomb down. Can Kenny find another one? Reinforcements arrive in the form of Dashi. All bases are covered right now. The fake play over by B still going, though. Big Bruce gets involved as well. What a brilliant defensive round from Optic. Hydra, though, still alive. Makes it a 2v2. And you still have Pred that's been worried about Kismet this entire time. But the SMG duo for New York, they have grouped up together. They got to go towards this bomb, and they got to go straight towards Kenny. Kenny's lying in wait again. Found a different corner this time. 15 seconds. You have got to get moving. Hydra recovers the bomb. Hello. The second. Hydra gets it. Got to plant fast. He has time to plant. Pred now in the 2v1. Can you get information on both of these players? Kismet from up top. You see the one cross. You've seen them both. You know they're both there. He has to send it. And Pred, he's not going to cut him down the middle. He's going to hit the front. There's the fight. Ring around a rosy. Pocket full of posy. A tissue. A tissue. Pred falls down. Subliners. Back to back. And credit to Kismet, man. You have no time left on the clock, but Ken playing a day one corner. It was a nail biter, but they checked it. Those instincts on point. And even for Kismet in the back alley to make sure nothing gives away. It was actually Hydra. There you go. Just speedy wow. as well. Flying past and checking it. So Hydra for the first, Kismet for the next. New York Subliner smooth sailing in that round. Ken nearly made the play to break him down, but. They take care of business and stay afloat in this game. Those Hydra kills and the bomb recovery, bomb plant, you name it, man. He really had to do it all there. Brilliant, brilliant work. Subline is one away from tying it up. Slightly different looks here. Dashi just hops, checks it, gets it. And you have Kismet there basically just baiting for a Hydra, but Dashi built different. He gets the kill too fast, so he does get traded out, but he's changed things up. And I think Ken felt the instinct that Hydra's up above. Shotzi certainly knows and able to take him down. These two SMG players, they are flying at each other. Oh, this guy he spots him out. He's damaged. The dance is on. Big tags. Skies gets away with his life. Teammates now scrambling to help out. Sid from behind. Dread doing everything he can now in a 1v1 against his old teammate. Who is the better player off the old Surge squad? 
MCW in hands of both. Here Sib we go. The Intel stuns it. Sib brings it up close. Even got a body shot in before the round ended. Three to three. Gotta let the old teammate know. Sib the movement <laughs> clean. Nice little two pump goes prone and hits him with the one after the fact. Respecting GAs and keeping it as close as you can get. That stun it did not matter. <laughs> what a play by Sib. Uh, such a hard fight to take. You saw from Preds POV as well, even with the rival. And Sib has proven himself to be such a formidable, formidable 1v1 fighter. So, so tough to bring him down. Three to three, all square. Optic on defense. And I think they're going for nade kills off the rip over towards B, but nobody home. So a lot of frags expended. No kills coming through. Shotzi on defense, though, straight up the middle of the map. You get control of that. That is an impossible gunfight to win, even for Sib, getting out of dodge. But now, if you're on the subliners, you're just uncomfortable. Got to watch out for Shotzi. He's going to make you real uncomfortable. Oh no, the timing, Kismet. Chews him up, Fred gets brought down again. Sib now starting to get in his head, maybe. Getting caught, solo chow after solo chow in so many rounds in a row for the subliners. Kenny trying to find the timing to get through the smoke, but it's the coverage to get the bomb down and nobody getting through that. Subliners, another dominant round. It does not feel good when you have no presence on the map, when you are stuck in your spawn, but Shotzi and Pred both getting caught completely over aggressive. And Subliners, Iron Dub. You saw even the way Sid was playing it in a corner, waiting for the squad to come help him out. Not an easy moment to get used to. That is trust in the comms and coordination of your teammates. That is also four rounds in a row for New York. They have been on a tear. Yeah, the first three looks so dominant. And now they cannot seem to stop. It's straight Pringles now from the subliners. What have they got in this round? Middle of the street has been absolutely obliterated. Optic are bringing the bomb to B. And maybe on the flank, Pred versus Kismet. Always potential in the minimap for one of these players to make a move. But the rest of the action over towards B. A lot of noise has been made. Kismet just gets caught. Over aggressive advantage from Optic. Preds have enough of this. Big Bruce, what a gunfight. So they've got just enough shots in there to push him back. A peach of an eight as well. And Optic are going for the plant. They're going to take their time. They back down, and Shotzi might be one HP, but they're waiting for Pred to get back in the mix. Oh! Well, Dashi might fall, but there's Pred. The trades are in. Three versus two. Optic playing very smart in these moments. Skies and Sib looking for the clutch. And again, they're thinking about that A-bomb as well. So now you've got a very awkward moment. Pred, the timing not necessarily paying off. Shotzi there to help out. His timing all oh, good. Skies finds himself alone against Shotzi and Pred. And there's just nowhere you can go. He killed the bomb planner. It was a nice attempt, but those SMGs just flying around the map. And that is the pace switch up as well. If the players on off to go for the plant in that moment when Pred is out of the picture, who knows how the round plays out. It could have been a punishing moment. They make the right call. They back down towards the bridge. They wait for Pred to get in position. That's when Dashi goes back top third. Everything is timed out perfectly right now from Optic on Karachi. Tied up 4-4 though. New York back on the attack. You can see the pressure is on. Optic have burnt their three-round lead, now all square. It's first to six. We're very much in the business end of this s and Ow. This B side effectively wide open, and Hydra's gonna get that first blood. And as soon as he falls, New York, do they make the call? Do you force it through on B? Yes, they absolutely do. Kismet going for the plant, man advantage, bomb down. And how many times this round we've seen that smoke go down with no bomb? Hydra finds his second on the round, and now forward you fly, Optic are in trouble. Skies makes it all under Dashi, and Dashi's shooting, but it's not going to amount to much. Map point, New York. Just catching these players a little too aggressive, playing off their tendencies. So much homework you do for these moments. These teams, they know for a fact, high likelihood you play against each other especially on Sunday. Subliners have chosen this map. It started out a bit rough, but the adjustments are here. One round. The first bloods have been on point. He's had shots, he's number. And here comes the Nates. Un, deux. Oh, oh my God! 
You may never see it again. Three. Oh, they're all gone. Pred's here. Where are my boys? I've got the bomb and I've got no hope. It's a 1v4. Seconds into the round. Optic have a van. Subliners have a car. The bombs explode, and what a way to put the stamp on this game. Oh, my God. Hey, if Skies had got that, that would have been something, but it was Sip. It wasn't a nail in the coffin. They built the whole thing. Nails, the wood, there was a sweet plaque on the top and everything. We have not seen a search and destroy like that before. And that was not the first time subliners were going for those pre-nades. All they did was just mess with that timing. They do it perfectly. And as soon as that bomb went off, I saw the smile on Hydra's face. They knew <laughs> they absolutely got him. What a performance there on Karachi. The homework pays off. You get an A plus and credit the whole way around, especially so. Sib might not have had a ton of kills that game, but that 1v1 he had against Pred when his team is working on the comeback. Former teammates letting them know. Look at the start and the finish of that round, though. The first round opens up with a Sky's big nade. Same place, and that time it pays off. You don't do it at once for the rest of the round. You, t you teach Optic to worry about that spot, and then you mess with the timing. Same with the B-bomb smokes. Smoke goes down, bomb gets blinded, bomb doesn't. You're training your opponents to look out for these moments. New York subliners. Big brain plays, big stats as well. Hydra in the gunny skies adds three to the pile in that round alone. Well, we have a series, folks. Invasion, invasion, invasion. That is not what's happening right now. That's what's happening in the series. We're not letting everybody know that World War III has started, but in this matchup, it may as well have. We're going to a quick commercial break, folks. When we come back, we play Invasion Control to find out who takes the lead in the series and who finds himself one step closer to a grand final against FaZe. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
it's not just CDL points and cash. We're also playing for a trophy to add to the trophy cabinet of one of our three remaining teams in this tournament. Optic Texas, the New York Subliner, and of course, Atlanta Faze already in that grand finals. We'll find out in a moment who gets to go to it. For now, though, we're tied up one to one in this absolute throwdown. Two magnificent squads going toe to toe, tete a tete so far. We've said goodbye to two maps in the series. We say hello to map number three, Invasion Control. And it is a grinder and a grueler of a map. Anyone that's played on it or watched it, we already know the deal. Defense is dominant. Any extra edge you can have to win an offensive round to get those extra ticks, it goes such a long way. Optic, they have been running it down on this map. One of the best, if not the best, attacking team in the game. But what we've seen from this tournament, subliners, they do not fear it. They will clutch in these moments. They can be out of control. Hydra, especially for an SMG player to have stats <laughs> that good and that clean. Always a force to be reckoned with and a reminder, the lowest of the low. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe you said that. Here we go, into the map, flying into what looks to be a pretty solid A hit. Shotzi's clean up B though, that's going to be all good. Hydra manages to infiltrate the back lines of the Optic defense. Stay secret, stay safe. Or let Dashi have it, look towards the middle of the map. What heads up play, Kenny? Bang, Hydra! Finds himself another, keeping the front line open now for his boys. Yeah, this is nightmare situation from Optic. Just the idea of trying to get Hydra out of your spawn. But the timing goes Kenny's way. But Kenny, Ooh. well, wrong gun for the job, but the right strap to make it happen. Clear out Hydra, feel a bit more comfortable. But right now, Subliners, they're pouring the pressure on A. One good gunfight from Kismet. He can be the opening, but no trophies, uh, nowhere to go. Actually going to shut that door. And for the moment, Subliners a little bit desperate. You got Shotzi inside of your base. And Shotzi letting players run by, trying to be a nuisance, but maybe too big for his britches, a little bit too smart. All he's doing right now is forcing Skies to hang back, but less than 30 seconds on the clock. Only the first tick just now coming through. Optic, if you get this break, you can devastate the subliners. Done a great job so far, burning the clock. Red now on the flank. Good shots, couple in the dashy, no problem. Just about 20 seconds to go in the round. Hydra still finding kills all over the place. Middle of the map, no way safer. And that's it. The bee's gonna get drained as well, potentially. No hope in hell for the subliners so far. This has been a magnificent defense. This is as dominant as it gets, and for subliners, they're just simply nowhere to go. Everywhere running straight into the irons right now of the Optic players. Five seconds on the clock. You're forced to go towards B. The door is closed. And that is a perfect Chase. round on defense. Already a massive advantage in this game. One minute and 48 seconds. Not bad whatsoever. Not quite perfect, though, but pretty good. I mean, did they even get that single ticker? I mean, either nope, way, nope, if nope, you're like no that ticks. far behind, that is quite literally perfect. You might add a few deaths, but whatever. Shotzi handling it perfectly. The decision making and the timing on whether he wants to flank or trusting his teammates absolutely nailed it. Optic not wasting any time, maybe trying to speed run this invasion straight over towards B. They go the stun. Well, they can't slow ah. you down, but the Semtex can. Shots are going to fall and well, Dashi, his only job right now is to draw pressure and attention over towards this A zone. Beat down doesn't quite work, but you see the kills from Optic being picked up on the feed on the other side of the map. They've got the pressure on B. No spawn traps just yet. Snap, crackle and pops Hydra. Slow cap, still working out a beat. Dashi from his perch now finds himself down like, oh, shots he loses a tough one to Skies. And this is huge. Dashi now the lone man on point. You can see he's forced to back down. So as good as Optic's first defense was, well, New York have an opportunity to attempt to replicate the same. Hydra wins a big win, Skies, for the follow-up. The trades are all there. And Pred, well, last man standing can't get it done. Kismet guns you down, and you are back to square one. Welcome to the palace spawn. Shots he's going to try to fight his way out. The rest of the boys have all stacked up towards that lower side of it. Kismet still an unrelenting suppression from that side of the map. 35 seconds on the clock, you are burning this one now. Not quite as perfect as Optic were in the first round, but so far, so good. And Sivin Skies are effectively containing the entire team. There are no open avenues of attack. This is a stranglehold. Only a single ticket's come through. Optic desperate just to make a move. And before they get too far, they might have to worry about getting flanked as well. You still got Hydra behind enemy lines at B. 
12 seconds on the clock for Optic. There's almost nowhere to go. They call it count for everything. Can he win? 7.6 seconds holds it. The rest of the team should be able to get there. Fred passes some information across to the lads as now they capture the point. Three man stack on a B. That's the second segment gone. Third's on the way out in a moment. Kismet. He might send it. Oh, he does. Whoa, to get it. They get him off. Fred has to get the kill. He's got three seconds. It's done. What a defense. That was unbelievable timing from New York. I, yes and no. Look, for a standard round on defense, that's great, but they are still going to be behind, so that is not ideal. And that is a moment where I think Hydra might have just tweaked. He was the one that was back tank over by Ice Cream, and, well, he loses that gunfight to Ken, and that was the open door. Yes, they slam it shut on the zone. It's a great round on defense, but you are still behind. You still got to dig deep and just deliver ever so slightly, just a little bit extra. Anything can happen. But as far as the segments go, Subliners trailing. Pressure towards B. They're trying to play it safe, trying to get themselves on the board in the long run. Skies gets his first as Hydra pressuring now forward towards the apartment side. Can he get this player out of that spot? Shotzi is unaware. The Frenchman cuts him down. Eyes under the second through the middle of the map. So nobody really finishing the capture of it by B. And Dash is now the one that's sort of setting up the spawn kills right now and being a nuisance towards the subliners. He's wrapping back, though, just to keep A secure because Sky as well, he's found himself in Cafe, Hydra in DVDs. And the clock now being stopped on the objective. Another big gunfight win. Ooh. Kenny gets traded, but before he can get the cruise, Hydra is going to fall. But at least that first segment has come through. The first one subliners are able to collect. Um, they're on the way over towards A as well. Save the foot race. Spots out one. Definite information pass now. Red dots are another thing. Good awareness from Kenny, but not enough for the gunny. Brill gets it. Three spree from Sip. And his teammates winning the gunfight as well over towards A. So he's off the clock. Got two players set up for the spawn kills. Kismet just has to live. His players can keep him at bay. Oh my god. Oh, Hydra cuts down another. So you're keeping that front line safe. Optic out about to get in a position. Dashi finally punches a hole. Here goes the hit. Big win! Bruce saves the day. He's got to keep going, oh. though. He's going to get traded. Sky's keeping the pressure up, and he gets the trophy out as well. The second tick, though, doesn't come through. But in the meantime, you've got the extra tick that you were desperate for on A. You're right back towards this B zone. Subliners maybe finding a little bit of that offensive magic. Still, though, a long way to go in this round. Stretching Optic as thin as they possibly can across the map, all the way to A, now all the way to B. That's massive work now. Two segments of B. So they're in the lead as far as the capture point goes. Looking to close this out now, and that has changed the face of this invasion map so far. Oh, Shotzi dancing, though. Baiting out Kismet. He can't deliver. Enough work being done. And, well, Dashi keeps you around. And, well, players from Optic have been taking turns, bullying down on this, like, street. Kenny might fall, but with 30 seconds left, you got to flood through straight towards B. I just crept in. Pounces. Stop the clock for a moment. Pred still upstairs is going to be an issue. He does have coverage. So once you're able to get the kill on a Pred, you're able to capture the point. Kenny and Dashi now reinforcing. That's a big moment. Hydra still alive. Hydra down. 20 on the clock. Give him away. Optic, you do not want to give away the extra ticks. Play nice and aggressive here on defense. Kismet has made it towards broken, but he's going to get gunned down. Ten seconds left. New York are going to flood in through the process. Here we go. Dashi trying to stop him. 6.1 seconds. Oh, Bruce pokes out. Teammates finding kills. The subliners, they can't deal with it. They cannot deal with the pressure, but Kismet is still alive. I mean, Kismet doing everything he can. You got a child, just get him off the zone. Look at the angle he's chosen to go with. Is it good enough? You stop the clock. Kismet, he's bottom the top. And the Pred sends it, and they capture the point. Just a millisecond too late. What an unbelievable round of control. It's still going. In a 6v4, you win this on lives on either team. Optic have a small advantage, but plenty of time right now from New York. The nades rolling through, couldn't quite catch him, and well for subliners. Now you're down to three. Oh, my word. Kismet, see you in the next round. Skies and Hydra get theirs on the approach forward. Pred should be able to get one if they do send it into the back of this shot. Pump the brakes. 30 seconds. Dashi's making noise, too. I don't know if Sib can hear it. He absolutely Ooh. did. One small mistake. You might get punished. 3v3. Chossy. Guns up down the street. That nade's not going to connect through the back. Hydra punches a hole all down the skies. And Chossy with a tactical retreat. Can he find it here? I don't know if he knows exactly where he is. Yes, the teammates are there. 
Wow, from the jaws of defeat. I got to say, Optic maybe a little bit too passive in that round to give up that B zone. Kismet was the only player alive for such a long time, but the Bulldog, the intimidation factor coming in clutch. It could have been another de a devastating round on defense, but Subliners, they cut their losses. They create the opportunity. You still have to clutch up on the defensive end, but they've put themselves in a winnable spot. Map point optic. Chelsea with the Dolphin Dive just trying to dodge that first nade. Will not be hitting the B side of the map until the health three gens. There we go, he's in. Here's the capture. Kenny's there in the off angle for it. Finds Sib. The door bursts wide open. Preds cutting mid map into pieces. And this is beautiful work as well. Again, Optic, all they're oh looking God. for. As long as you secure the B zone, you're feeling great, Pred. Well, he can't get the cruise. But if B is secure, Optic will get that defense. This has been such a strong attacking round already. Now it's find these kills. Push Kismet back. That's it. Keep the life advantage you've got. As many hit points as your players have. You have to make the most of the damage your teammates have done. And shots you on the cross. Pred pokes a hole. This is huge. They're into A. It's a two-man stack. Shotzi and Pred are there. Keep the subliners back. Who cares about defense if you can just win it here? Two players on the point. You're flooded into a tough chow. The stuns are great, but the trade for Shotzi even better. The only problem, they just did not have a trophy. An extra tick collected, but two minutes and so much map pressure. Optic, Kenny, right now, slowing it down, waiting for the reinforcements to roll through. Drain the effort. Optic managed to get there on that first hit. Back to square one on A. Huge damage, not enough for kills. Dash is going to go in for it. Bruce, one down, two That's down, it. three down. All dead. That's the map. Optic are in. Our first part of the Invasion trilogy comes to a close. We're going to a hard point. Who cares about defense when you can play like that? A team that has been running it down on the offensive end on Invasion Optic, they make it happen once again. And both these teams, man, feeling the pressure on the main stage in an elimination match on Sunday. But Kenny, the resolve, just the patience he has in that moment to wait for his teammates. It is a two versus four around the zone. They iron up, they let the spawners come back and get into the mix. Those are the veteran plays there for the new man on Optic Texas. And I know when we take a look at this stats page, Kenny was balling out the entire time as well. Yeah, nearly 5K damage, a titan in that lobby. Kenny, the MVP of Map 3, 11 assists as well on top of 22 kills. The most involved player on the map and making those game-winning plays in the end. I love that sort of duo ship he had with Dashi. Kenny's the first one to get in the mix. He gets so much damage out on Skies, on Venning, and whatever player came in for the chow that Dashi knows he can fly. And the gunfights that they can win completely on point. These players are absurd. Absurd. Highlights. We get to see some of that teamwork in effect. Whatever side of the showers, whatever side of the A zone you're hitting, you've got an optic player sliding it. Massive, massive kills from both teams here. I mean, we saw a very strong start from up to Texas. Subliners bounced back brilliantly in their defensive round and nail bite from there. But after that chance, all optic all day. Yeah, they were just making, I mean, their defenses are just too clean. They yeah. set the tone oh. round one with the near perfect round. This is certainly one that got spicy in the final moments, but Brett and Shotzi in effectively a round of S and D. They handle the map perfectly. And then towards the end, you see just the trades on point there from Optic. It was beautiful work, but not just these kills towards the end. This is the moment. It's when Kenny is calming out exactly where the players are, exactly how weak they're going to be. Dashi, we saw the way he was playing on Karachi, too. If he gets a call, he is soaring straight in. And with a beamer like that can be the difference maker. Optic, match point. One map away, and they've booked their trip to the Grand Finals. They play phase once again with the New York Subliners. You've already played phase in the tournament, and it was a, a game five banger. We'll see if that happens again. Well, our first part of Invasion Trilogy done. Part two, Invasion, the return. We'll play Hardpoint next, and if we have to go to the game five, that's the return of the Invasion, Search and Destroy. 
the way this series is going, I mean, the first sub base was not that strong for the New York subliners. Since then, they have managed to pick up pace. They have got things going. But right now, Optic, the respawns are looking great. We'll find out how this goes in a moment. And especially so in the respawns, it felt like just one player from Optic just has that meteoric performance. Pred in the map one, absolutely dominant on sub base in that lobby. I mean, the damage numbers he had, he just stood above the rest. Kenny, the exact same thing in that control, rising to the occasion. Someone on the New York subliners needs to be able to fight back, but I know on the flip side, maybe just another player to take his turn. Shotzi has been bonkers this entire stage. He hasn't needed to have a pop-off moment yet in this series, but him and Fred together so far, they've just been out of control. You see, again, just a little bit extra there from Fred, but a wonderful map as well. It's not often a 1.24 KD gets overshadowed. And that's just this series alone. The series is not over yet. Invasion Hardpoint, we're loading in right now. Subliner's last chance in the tournament to stay alive and get a shot of redemption against FaZe in that grand finals. Optic, same can be said. FaZe have knocked both of these teams down. Who rises up to take it to them? This is going to be an absolute delight. Here we go. Map number four of our elimination finals. And the tension is in the air. Optic can smell the win. Lean forward in your gaming chairs into the locked in position. Optic nades out and about, straight down the pipe, middle of the map, and you clear out mid, you look towards the wing. Shotzi, the timing, waiting for the door to open. Well, Kismet gonna slam that one shut. The Ooh. response is there from the subliners, picking up every kill, looking to set that tone. What the hell is this opener? It looked great from Optic, but the New York subliners just said, yeah, cool. Everything that happens there, we're gonna deal with it, and we're gonna get the time. I mean, again, on a homework front, these guys have been out of control. That was a perfect opening break. They have already flipped those spawns. Subliners doing everything right for the moment. Now it's just about holding on. 20 seconds left on P1. Optic looking to break it down to get the scrap time. Kenny and squad going to be able to do exactly that. Final 15 seconds to go to them. And keep in mind, Kismet actually spawns out. This is a tough moment, but Shotzi's turning for it. So the comms and awareness are right now on point, but the gunning for Kismet even better. Woo. Players from Optic doing what they can. By the way, Kenny comes off spawn. He's on a five. Straight into it. Six. Maker. He's not over yet. Trophy down. He's got a cruise. It's down to the Renetti. His teammates are there to keep it going. Hard point in the hands now of Optic. Sid may find two, but you have space to work with. Skies gets the third. Kenny now all alone by the dozer. Dude, if you were doubting me when I said he's the most important player on this team, there's a shade of exactly why. A perfect opening break for the subliners off spawn. He comes back and gets a cruise. Helps it for the breakdown and the kills now from Optic starting to go their way. That's three in the feed in the time now collected. Hyder on the flank picks up three before shots he can get him from spawn. This hard point has been a massacre from both sides and neither team really able to get much out of it. Shotzi driving forward, gets himself a Kismet. Hydra again in the feed. He's on seven and four already. Oh man, Hydra on this hill alone. How many kills did he just get? Five or six just on P2 and you'll take that. The way things were going on this rotation, it could have been out of control, but that is Hydra. exactly what Hydra is. The man is just dominated this kill feed. He's everywhere and everything. All at once. Yeah, you see what I did there, guys? Yeah, there you go. 15 seconds to go on our brand new hardpoint. Over to the showers once again. Optic Texas, so not in it to get the time just yet. Lead change, subliners for now. Sky's trying to keep these boys pinned down. And Predator Shotzi, Hell 3 Gen, back at it. Doesn't seem to matter. Sky's and Hydra once again. Hydra is on a massive spree. Seven. He's got himself streaks and he's looking for more. Reading the spawn too. Finally, someone able to shut him down in Optic. They will take advantage of that small mistake. Finally, the back spawns get open. Hydra picks you apart for that amount of time. And yet, somehow, after all of that, Optic might even come away with the lead that is a ridiculous sequence of events and we got ourselves a banger right now of a map four. Oh yeah poke your head out and pay the price is exactly what's happening right now the slaying department right now for the subline is working overtime Shossi has been spotted on the cross now. He's made his way through it. Pred, though, going to back him one up. And again, this is the park hard point. We know how hard it is to get time on this hard point. 
The streaks are certainly going to help the Hydra can flatten that whole area. It's also like the fight for these right side spawns. Kismet wants to stay alive, and now Hydra is going to have to get the player out of time, but he's going to need to live. He can't get it done, so that means Palace spawns for the subliners. And Optic right now, it is just about keeping these players at bay. I know it's 30 seconds to go on this old time, but you're trying to set yourself up on the rotation. Ashley doesn't want to give him the time, and well, he's on a five. He is not going to let it happen. Started to slowly but surely ah, get things going before being sniped by Hydra. And it's, it's unbelievable gameplay right now. Dare I say we shouldn't look away from this POV because this man is absolutely tearing Optic to pieces. He's not missing a bullet either. The headshots he's collecting are out of control. Kenny having to tuck himself in a deep corner. They got the intel. They know Hydra's behind him, but Hydra completely by his lonesome, stunned out as well. That might be the only way to shut him down. Brilliant work. Sky is once again pressing out towards the point. Gets himself a couple. Open street. No trophies at play yet. He does have one to use. So we're going to dive under this hard point now under the safety of that trophy system. Hydra pushing the spawns out, making sure the Optic have got no options. And he's reading it too. It's the awkward spawns in the back. Oh! But Hydra is on point. That is kill number Hydra. 20. Oh. 11 for Sib, 20 for Hydra. This is an absurd performance. And the scoreline. They've only just taken the lead back. This is the French phenom that is playing out of his mind. It is out of control. It's only a 12-point game. But so many of these situations, subliners have been in bad spots, but the bailouts have been insane. Now to the degree where Optic have just been getting spawn trap back gas while subliners collecting all of this time. And you have a couple players on Optic with a slow performance. All four players negative. Shotzi and Pred, the SMG duo, simply cannot match Hydra. Back to P1. Low scoring game. A lot of contest time though, so again, the game clock not necessarily a huge factor yet, but it might be. Kismet now finds himself a five spree. 21 and 9 from Hydra. He's trying to have himself a purge game. He can get himself that hill, hill time. But it's absolute mania here on Invasion. Dude, he's just ridiculous. All right, Ken's the only player who feels like that can back him down and well sets up Dashi for a two-piece while he does get traded. Optic looking to go and collect his time. Skies, though, as soon as the hill pops, wants to strike and make his move, times it perfectly, makes the time white just again. This is, without question, a game that is going to come down to the game clock. Neither team has made it past 100 points, and there's just over two minutes left on it. So long term right now, this has basically just been a massive game of TDM. Massive game of TDM. I mean, technically, what, the subliners should be winning it, but... Outstanding work. Back up to P2 we go. Just about two minutes on that game clock. We should see a bit of time here, Chance. Yeah, Optic are going to be setting up around the time, waiting for the cruise missile to come through. Here it comes from Ken. But in the meantime, look at the kills. New York subliners jump on it, attack you. The crews can't get anything, and Optic could not get a single kill. Utility burn, and you are getting nothing on the map. Kiz. A suffocating performance oh. right now from the subliners. Kiz is absolutely shooting. Sib slowing down the reinforcements. Wow, is he slowing him down, putting Pred in a body bag. And they are roaring dead in the comms as well as those spawns flip. Optic, it is the only player out right now is going to be Kenny. Everybody else on spawn, and this might be the most important rotation of the game. Optic desperate to get away, but they are just running into death. A potential another cruise to come through. Kenny right now has to stay alive. He needs his teammates to get in the mix. Showers once again. Subliners would be there. Surrounded the Bioptic players. So at this point in time, you want to do everything you can to get in that point ASAP. The lead's starting to develop now for New York sitting pretty. Kenny with the kills, into the time. Dude, Kenny has got amongst men right now. He's over there making the play on those late flanks. And well, Sib desperate for a kill, but Optic in the meantime, just happy to collect the time. They get the gas spawns again. And a moment where you needed Ken to make that hero play. Not only does he give you the spawns and give you the time, Kenny shuts down Sib as well. Kenny shutting down Sib. The subline is still with a slight lead, but it is dissipating moment by moment. Let's go for a quick listen in with the New York subliners. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'll get right, I'll get right, I'll get right, I'll get right. I'm getting left, I'm getting left. I killed one close. Oh, D car, honey, one B. S D. S D one. Cheers, cheers. On top of it, on top of it, cheers. Cheers, cheers. There's that. One more on the left of me. Can I get Medic or side? Medic or side. We don't want to push, guys. Kids, this is a 
Yeah, one shot on one shot on Yeah, one shot on Manikin, push you more. Heard you. Iron your bar. One guy's bar right now. Front glass, front glass. There's three right. There's three right, guys. One guy's on me, yo. I'm going to There's three right. There's three right. They're trying to take out one. They got one glass. They got one glass. They're going to be ACD, ACD fast. One's DVD. 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 DVD.
Sky stays alive, but there's too many members of the Optic lineup. This is it. It's done. Desperation as you are going to the grand finals to face FaZe once again. Make no mistake, Kenny is him. He said it in Vanguard, and he should be saying it again. You doubt Kenny at your own peril as Optic have somehow, despite all the work from Hydra, 6,661 damage from the Phenom and 37 kills. You somehow shut down the subliners, whether it was the game clock or that 250 scoreline. Optic found a way. I mean, that is just an absurd performance through and through. Dashi as well in the kill feed, lighting it up. That was one of Hydra's finest performances early on. An absolute onslaught of a player. So many hills in a row, but Optic, like the Tides, they just kept on fighting a couple key rotations, and they still win the game. I don't know how much they just got outslayed by. I didn't even bother to do the math, but I know the slang wasn't quite there. Dashi might have been the only player that went positive, but ended up outplaying them on Invasion, winning both the hard points as well. That is an absolutely electric game. That is a brilliant comeback. A sensational comeback. The second wild one we've seen today on Invasion alone. New York Subliners, you've gone from top 12 to third place. Not a bad situation to be in, but still, for your reigning world champs, they're setting their sights on first. What a hard point that was. Map four to a close, and we have now set the stage for our grand finals. And just dash it as that, like, sort of ironed up anchor player as well. Went on maybe three different five sprees in that game. Got a cruise missile on one of them, but just the ultimate player, if he gets to post up and knows where you're spawning, almost an unstoppable wall to get past. But 